Alrighty, so today's episode is not going to be filmed here. We're actually going to go somewhere else to do this. So let's go. Alright, so today's episode is going to be a review of the Ryobi OnePlus Shop Vac. Now, I wanted to come out here and do this video just to show you the wonders of the OnePlus system and the variety of tools that they have that it are that you're able to use with the OnePlus system. Now, I am in the most, uh, I'd say, remote area in my uh of where i live i'm in the middle of the lake and i do have some stuff on the ground uh, i got a vacuum but i brought dead leaves right here that we're going to spread all over the the floor of the boat and clean it up with the shop vac now we're going to go over the ups and downs of this uh vacuum and it's going to be it's going to be fun this is my first time doing a review on the boat and it, i think it's awesome all right, so here we got a bag of dead leaves. So let's spread this around. Get some over there. Put some in some crevices. Dump the rest. So as you can see, I completely littered the boat with dead leaves. I put leaves in there, all over the place. Not sure if you can see it because of the exposure, but there's leaves everywhere.
All right, and that's, and that's the good thing about the OnePlus system is you could be in a place like this and still use your tools. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little drive to the Fox Lake and then we'll uh, finish the review at the shop. That's right, I'm fat, and I love it. All right, now that we're back in the shop, uh, let's talk about the design of the, the OnePlus shop vac. Now, this shop vac is majorly different than all the other brands because this isn't just a cylinder with a, with a motor on top, so it, this is not top heavy whatsoever this is easy to glide around so just pull on the hose a little bit and it'll go where you want it to go because of the design and and it won't tip over now uh because of the flat surface on top i actually like to use this as a tabletop so if you have multiple tools you can stack them on there or even have them on a battery like that, you know, and then have it just drag it around with you wherever you need to go. And so this is the only shop that, that there is that, that allows you to do that. So, so that itself is worth the extra like $40 that it takes, uh, that, that it would cost you for like a rigid or something else. Now the only thing that's, that is not good about this vacuum is the hose it comes with. I hate this hose. I wish it was a little bit more rubbery and a little bit more uh, dense in material when it comes to the connections. The hose part should be a little bit more rubbery and then the end connector should be a little bit thicker, uh, thicker of a plastic because as you can see, I broke my clip that goes into the port and to keep it on there. So now, uh, if I need to use this hardcore, I duct tape it a little bit. But fortunately, the hose is replaceable. You could get a, another brand uh, hose and use this, uh, use this on this vacuum. I will uh, put the measurement of the size of the hose in there so you could also get a different hose. I, I'm, I am going to get a, a rigid hose because I'll, it's a little bit, it, it's a better hose. And uh, you could also get uh, over at Home Depot. There's other attachments you could get besides the two that it comes with. And I, I love the way how this uh, is compact, and it stays uh, without. It stays like this without stuff just being all over. So you don't have to hold your hose while you do this. You don't have to maneuver a cord around. Now is this hybrid? I, I never even checked. No, this is uh, this shop back is not hybrid whatsoever, but this design is seriously awesome. It seriously is awesome. It has four wheels underneath it, and that just helps majorly stabilize it and make it maneuver easily in a zero degree, uh, in a zero point turn. Like you could turn a 360 just like that. And so it has uh, handles on the side, just like that. Uh, there's four clips on the side that you're able just to uh, take the top off. And the benefit is you don't have to undo anything to take the top off as it is. There we go. Just undo the clip, and then that's the top. Now, uh, inside, inside of it is the filter and all the leaves that we just... Uh, sucked up that was on the boat 
and so it's a I believe this is a wet a wet shop vac as well uh, I did suck up some water but I didn't suck up puddles of water so I did not test that out thoroughly yet but I will uh, I will when I need to so then just to put it back on just slide that in the filter one two three and four now another youtuber that i watch right uh ryobi king he beat me to this to uh, uh do a review on it he beat me to it i was uh planning on it but he uploaded the video before i did so if you want to check out his reviews of his tools that he does check out ryobi king uh go to his youtube page i'll put a link in the description below and uh yes the shop vac is a hundred and nine dollars i believe Compared to the other brands, uh, there's like about a $45 difference. But as you can see, the extra cost is with the OnePlus system. And I went to the remote place you can go to, to use a vacuum. And I was able to do the task with no problem whatsoever. And let's see how much battery it took up. I used a 4 amp hour battery. It used up about 75% about 75 percent so not not too bad not too bad and i vacuumed the entire boat everywhere where i threw stuff and plus it was it was already dirty to begin with the shop back is worth it it's worth it like uh, the attachments it also it comes uh, as you see it comes with the two hose attachments that uh, go perfectly on there like that and it just keeps it compact and easy to travel with i, I love the design they did a beautiful job on the on the design so that's pretty much it for the OnePlus uh, Ryobi shop vac. Like I said uh, before, check out Ryobi King's channel. He did a review on this and a bunch of other stuff. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.